Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Welcome on this Monday, this Easter Monday, April 13th, 2020, from St. James Cathedral. It is a delight to share with you in our service of morning prayer as we celebrate the new life of Christ given to us in the resurrection. Our service begins on page 47 of the Book of Alternative Services. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship. And the Jubilate on page 49. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed, O come, let us worship. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 93. You may find it on page 830. The Lord is King. He has put on splendid apparel. The Lord has put on his splendid apparel and girded himself with strength. He has made the whole world so sure that it cannot be moved. Ever since the world began, your throne has been established. You are from everlasting. The waters have lifted up, O Lord. The waters has lifted up your voice. The waters has lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the sound of many waters. Mightier than the breakers of the sea. Mightier is the Lord who dwells on high. Your testimonies are very sure, and holiness adorns your house, O Lord, forever and forevermore. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe. In awe and wonder, we bow before the mystery of your power and might. For you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. And our reading this morning is from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 1 through 11. Now I would remind you, beloved, of the good news that I proclaim to you, which you in turn received and in which you stand, through which you also are being saved if you hold firmly to the message that I proclaim to you, unless you have come to believe in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures and that he appeared to Cephas and then to the Twelve. Then he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. 
for I am the least of the apostles, unfit to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me has not been in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God that is with me. Whether then it was I or they, so we proclaim and so you have come to believe. Holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God. We turn now to page 53 and we affirm our faith in the words of the hero Israel, the great Shema. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment, and the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Let us now offer to God our prayers for the church and our prayers for the world. In the joy and hope of the resurrection, let us pray to the source of all life, saying, hear us, Lord of glory. that our risen Savior may fill us with the joy of his holy and life-giving resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory, that isolated and persecuted churches may find fresh strength in the Easter gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory that God may grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That the Holy One may equip us and provide for those who lack food, work, or shelter. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That through the power of God, wars and famine may cease throughout the world. And that the gift of peace may become a reality in our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. that Christ may reveal the light of his presence to the sick, to the weak, and to the dying, that they may be comforted and strengthened. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That God may send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon his people and that we may bear faithful witness to his resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. And for all others who are on our hearts, for other concerns that we hold now before God, either silently or aloud. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. Lord of life and power through the mighty resurrection of your Son, you have overcome the old order of sin and death and have made all things new in him. 
May we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, reign with him in glory, who with you and the Holy Spirit is alive, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.